everyone, Dan here at Fnatic. Now, in May of 2018, my experience with IXS pads started when I picked up a set of the Flow Evo Plus. That's what I have here. At the time, I already had a few friends running them and they loved them, so I gave them a try. To this day, they remain my favorite knee pad in terms of all day pedaling comfort. You can just put them on your knees and go, and you pretty much forget about them. But in June of 2020, my dog Nora got her hands or her jaw on her mouth on my, one of my knee pads and tore it to bits. So came back down to the shop to pick up something new. I'd already kind of been thinking I wanted something to bridge the gap for, you know, scarier trails and a little bit more aggressive riding, maybe extend further down onto your shin. And I saw the trigger knee pad also by IXS. I figured I'd give it a go. Now, one of the things that you'll see about the Flow Evo is that it does only have a strap here on the lower leg. If you picture your leg as you pedal, your quads and your hamstrings are expanding and contracting quite a bit, whereas your calf doesn't really do that as much. So that's, I think, one of the things that makes this so comfortable for all day pedaling is that it doesn't have that strap on the top. It does have some silicone anti-slick slip uh, material here so it doesn't fall down your leg and this lower strap keeps it you know cinched up above your calf the trigger however does have that knee pad i find that on really long ascents i'll tend to put them down on my calves but the rest of the time they have been surprisingly comfortable once they're up i usually leave them up i did recently see that IXS has launched a revised model of the Trigger. They're calling it the Trigger Race, and you can right off the bat see a few differences here. First and foremost, they've brought this armadillo shell, they call it, and added another one to the knee itself. I think the biggest thing with this is that it's gonna actually protect the pad and keep this fabric from tearing if you take a spill, but it also allows you to kind of slide on rocks and stuff like that if you are falling and keep you from getting snagged up and potentially a little more injured. Um, I have seen in Utah a friend poke a hole through a similar kind of shell like this, soft shell. It wasn't quite this thick, so I don't know that that would happen here, but like I said, it's gonna protect your pad having that additional one up on the knee itself. Other things that you'll see, and I think this is gonna go a long way in terms of pedaling comfort, is that the they have brought the top of the knee pad quite a bit higher than the strap you see on my trigger here. Sometimes I'll experience this to slip down behind this strap here, and then you get bunching and that's not very comfortable. With the new trigger race, they bring this the top portion of the pad up quite a bit higher on your leg. Both of these do have that same silicone anti-slip material, and I think that's gonna go a long way in making this pretty much a, a heavy-duty, pedal-friendly knee pad. Now, both of these pads do have the same mesh material that you find a whole bunch of on the flow over here that keeps it pretty you know, ventilated in the summer and pretty comfortable in terms of heat management. And it also allows it to dry out fairly quickly after you ride. I tend to wash my pads every sort of 12 to 15 rides in the winter, a little bit more frequently in the summer, probably every six rides or so. They don't, they've never gotten so stinky that I can't ride my bike anymore, which I know happens to some people. Um, but I just make sure to wash them periodically. You can remove the inner insert from all these pads. It slips out from the inside here. Sometimes I get lazy, it can be a pain to get it back in there. If you're gonna throw these in your washer without removing this, make sure to air dry them. You don't want this thing going in your drying machine. It can become so hot that it'll crack. Other notes, uh, oh, speaking of this insert, this is a viscoelastic material, much like D3O, that orange material you see in a lot of other pads. They call it X Matter, it's their proprietary blend. And viscoelastic just means that under slow movements, it can bend, so part of what makes these pads so comfortable. But when you hit it really hard, it's gonna harden up and prevent any impact traveling through to your soft kneecap. Um, now, in terms of pricing, you're gonna be looking at $96 for the Flow Evo Plus. The trigger that I have, 
the original trigger is $150. And for the new revised trigger race, you're only looking at $10 more, $160, which I think next time or when I need to replace these, I'll probably be checking these out. Of course, you can find them on our website, fanaticbike.com. If you have any questions about these pads, want to know a little bit more, definitely feel free to ask in the comments below. You can also always shoot us an email at sales at fanaticbike.com or give us a phone call at 1-844-FANATIC. If you like watching these videos, please subscribe to our channel. We really like making them, telling you guys about what's cool in the world of mountain biking. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, y'all.